Hot Wheels Indy 500 Championship Trophy commemorates the 100th running of the Indianapolis 500. And today we're making a pit stop with race car driver Ryan Hunter Ray here to share his thoughts and hopes on taking home that trophy and more. Good morning, Ryan. So I first have to ask, what do you do to get ready for the Indy 500? It's got to be a lot of pressure. Well, it's different every year, I think. To get ready for the Indy 500 is different for every driver. Um, thankfully, I'm not one with big superstitions or anything like that. So I just focus on the race. I, I know what I need for my race car to make the most out of it. Um, you know, this is, this is a special race. It's 500 miles. Uh, so you have to be ready for the long haul. You have to be ready for the endurance side of it. And you have to make your car what you need it through the entire race. It, it's going to change, it's going to get hotter, the tires are going to fall off, uh, meaning the, the tire wear is going to play a factor for sure. Uh, pit stops, all of these things come into play, but you just have to be focused on, on making high percentage moves, you know, putting your car in a position where it's most likely to come out the other side and, and be there for that shootout at the end. That's the most important part. Well, and you know how to make it for that shootout in the end because you are, in fact, a past winner. What does it mean to win the Indianapolis 500? To win the Indianapolis 500 is a lifelong and career-long goal come true. Um, I remember on the cool-down lap after winning that, that race that's uh, been dubbed as one of, the, one of the best in Indy 500 history, um, I remember just all the emotions coming over me, all the memories of starting, you know, you know, playing with Hot Wheels with my dad as a kid, racing my first go-kart, winning my first go-kart race, my first car race, all these things come flooding uh, through my mind and, and it's just an amazing feeling. And the tradition that comes with this race, the legends that have won it, the, the history uh, that has gone into this race, you know, it's what our automotive industry is based on and it's, it's just so cool to even have an opportunity to race in this race, let alone win it. I, I really can't put it into words. <laughs> yeah, that's got to feel good. And, and thinking of the people who have won before you, uh, you were the first American to win. I mean, what does that mean? Because that's got to put just an extra special spin on it, right? Yeah, you know, IndyCar has always been a very international sport. Um, you know, the best drivers from around the world have always, from the beginning, since 1911, come here to race this race and compete for the big trophy, you know, the Borg Warner Trophy, to get your face on there and to be a part of history, automotive racing history. So it's, uh, it, it's something that, that every driver dreams of one day, maybe possibly happening for me. It always seemed a little bit out of reach, like it was almost unattainable, but I always had that goal. And the further and further I got into my IndyCar racing career, I knew that I had a chance to do it. And I was hungry, hungrier than ever to get it the, these last few years for sure. So with it being such a special piece of hardware, where in the world do you keep that Indy 500 winning trophy? Well, the, the Indy 500 winning trophy is uh, something like seven feet tall and um, appraised at three and a half million dollars. So they don't give you that one, unfortunately. I was pretty bummed to, to learn that. I, they give you a baby board, as they call it. So that comes home with you. Your face is on the base, just like it is on the big trophy. Uh, but I want this trophy behind me. This is, this is a Hot Wheels trophy inspired by it. Every one of the cars on here is inspired by a story behind each winner from 1911 on. Um, just, just such a cool concept and, and, and one that I'll be sharing now that I have kids, one that I'll be sharing with them. Um, so hopefully I can get another car on there with a unique story behind it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, speaking of your kids and Hot Wheels, they've been around forever. Tell us your experience with Hot Wheels. Well, Hot Wheels is where it all started for me, you know. It's, it, I, I collected the cars, different tracks, different setups, you know. Everything was different, whether it be, you know, I'd set up a track down the stairs one day or, or outside from, from, from the bushes down into the grass through, through the sand. It, it, it's just, it was something that kept me so busy as a kid, and now I'm doing it with my kids. Um, just such a special experience and, and one that we'll be sharing for a while. They didn't quite have the garages and the tracks and the unique setups that they had uh, that they have now when I was a kid so I'm so into it you know I almost tear into the boxes faster than these kids do on Christmas morning and start getting through them um, so they're easy to set up and there's so many different d different packages that I could put together for, for for my kids you know they get tired of one little loop or or a combination of loops I can just change the whole thing around it's so much fun so um, 
my, my oldest has always got his pockets stuffed with Hot Wheels. Even when we go out to the grid for the Indy 500, he'll have Hot Wheels in his pockets. Uh, just the way he rolls. <laughs> okay, so not just for kids. Yes, us adults can have a little fun too. <laughs> not just for kids. <laughs> I love Hot Wheels too. I can't help but go through the aisles at a, at a store and, and see one that I haven't seen yet, you know, and it's like one of those special edition ones, and I kind of look around, I sneak it off the shelf and put it in the cart. Got to have it. <laughs> well, looking at the trophy behind you, where do you want to send your fans to maybe learn more about it and, and really see this unique trophy behind you as well? Anywhere online you want to send them? Well, on the run, on the run up to the 100th running of the Indy 500, there's a lot going on, but the best place to go is to Facebook and check out Hot Wheels for more information. And, and just all the videos, too, on YouTube. You can see all the different videos on, on explaining how vehicle dynamics works and how, how, just how these jumps work out, how the loops work out, how, how fast you need to get the cars going. It's pretty cool. I've been going through those videos with my son, and uh, he loves it. It makes me play it 15, 16 times in, in repeat, but <laughs> it's well worth the time spent. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Ryan, and good luck out there. Stay safe. Head to our website for more on this segment. Head to fox4morningblend.com. Are you tired of what you see staring back at you in the mirror? Coming up next, how you can rebuild your confidence and feel good about the person looking back at you. Stay with us.